Right, coming up on 504, parents, if you have students in APS and you're thinking about transferring them to a different school within the district, now is the time to go ahead and do it. And you know, this year, APS is hoping to get more students transferred into their magnet schools rather than to charter schools outside the district. News 13, Samantha McDonald is live in the Newsplex with details. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Matt and Elizabeth. APS officials say they hope a number of special programs offered at the APS Magnet Schools draws kids there. All we have is a 9-volt battery, and we've got a little motor inside with a fan. Ryan O'Brien is a transfer student. He left Manzano High School for a Magnet School. It just it was a small small environment, and I, I kind of I like small environments. Yay. But he's part of a shrinking group of kids who transfer within the district. During the past three years, more and more kids are leaving APS. Yep, perfect. In the 2012 to 2013 school year, APS lost 700 kids. That cost them about $4 million, on average $6,000 per student. The fact that we have declining enrollment is an issue for the district. It means that we're going to have to become leaner. Before deciding on that, APS school officials are working on better educating families about the dozens of existing magnet schools with a series of open houses. Families are really looking for middle schools that they feel are small and safe and that the adults there will know their children by name. And it's sometimes the perception is that our larger comprehensive middle schools may not be that kind of place. Um, and again, that's perception. The magnet schools offer some similar programs to those in charter schools, such as taking college level classes in high school. What if we do something like that? <laughs> O'Brien is in that program. Thank you guys. It's called College and Career High School. He goes to class at Central New Mexico Community College. It's the only high school in the city that is housed full time on a college campus. I could take as many college classes as I wanted to on main campus and not have to go back and forth to high school. He will be able to get his EMT certificate through that special program, something he's excited about. Oh, ecstatic. If you get your applications in for transfer by March 15th, you'll be part of the first round drawing. Back to you. Very good to know. Thank you so much, Sam. You can learn more about the schools and their open houses online. All you have to do is go to our website, krqe.com, and click on KRQE links.